Lesson 1. Welcome to Lesson 1 of the Food Handler Safety Course provided by Texas Best Food Services Training. This lesson presents how food becomes unsafe and is an introduction to food safety and foodborne illness. This course is based on the information in the Texas Food Establishment Rules. This document is the Health Department Bible. It details every aspect of how businesses that serve food to the public will store, prepare, and serve food to the public. We highly recommend downloading this document and have it available in your place of business for reference. It is available on the DSHS website or this website under HACCP Documents. Foodborne Illness for the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, foodborne illness is a common public health problem. Each year, one in six Americans get sick by consuming contaminated foods or beverages. There are many different types of foodborne illnesses. They can be caused by viruses, the number one cause. Disease-causing microbes which are called pathogens. Poisonous chemicals. Or other harmful substances accidentally introduced into food. Foodborne illness outbreak. A foodborne illness outbreak is when two or more people have the same symptoms of the same illness after eating the same food, which may or may not have been consumed at the same location. This includes an investigation which is conducted by state and local regulatory authorities. And the outbreak is confirmed by laboratory analysis. Time temperature control for safety. A food that requires time temperature control for safety to limit pathogenic microorganism growth or toxin formation. TCS foods include an animal food that is raw or heat treated, a plant food that is heat treated or consists of raw seed sprouts, cut melons, cut leafy greens, cut tomatoes or mixture of cut tomatoes that are not modified in a way so that they are unable to support pathogenic microorganism growth or toxin formation. Garlic and oil mixtures that are not modified in a way so that they are unable to support pathogenic microorganism growth or toxin formation. Product assessment is required for food that contains spores or vegetative cells whether heat treated or not heat treated and packaged or not packaged that have a high pH and W wetness. Ready to eat food includes a food in a form that is edible without additional preparation to achieve food safety. This food can be raw or partially cooked animal food and the consumer is properly advised of such. This can be food that is prepared in accordance with the variance that is properly granted. This food may receive additional preparation for palatability or aesthetic, epicurean, gastronomic, or culinary purposes. RTA food includes the following. Raw animal food that is cooked as specified. Raw fruits and vegetables that are washed. Fruits and vegetables that are cooked for hot holding. All time temperature controlled food that is cooked to the temperature and time required for the specific food. Plant food for which further washing, cooking, or other processing is not required for food safety, and from which rinds, peels, husks, or shells, if naturally present are removed. Substances derived from plants such as spices, seasonings, and sugar. A bakery item such as bread, cakes, pies, fillings, or icing for which further cooking is not required for food safety. The following products that are produced in accordance with USDA guidelines and that have received lethality treatment for pathogens, dry, fermented sausages, such as dry salami or pepperoni, salt-cured meat and poultry products, such as pros chiuto ham, country cured ham, and parma ham, and dried meat and poultry products, such as jerky or beef sticks, and thermally processed low-acid foods packaged in hermetically sealed containers. Hazards associated with foodborne illness. Foodborne illnesses can occur because of food contamination, and can be biological, chemical, or physical in origin. Biological contamination includes bacteria, viruses, parasites, and fungi. Chemical contamination includes cleaners, sanitizers, and polishes. Physical contamination includes metal shavings, staples, bandages, glass, dirt, fingernail polish, 
and natural objects such as bones in a fillet. Foodborne illness risk factors. Approved source. Compliance with food law. Food shall be obtained from sources that comply with applicable laws and are licensed by the state regulatory authority having jurisdiction over the processing and distribution of the food. Food prepared in a private home, except as allowed in this title, is from an unapproved source and may not be used or offered for human consumption in a food establishment. Packaged food shall be labeled as specified in law. Basically, this means label everything that is not totally obvious like macaroni. Fish that are intended for consumption in their raw form may be offered for sale or service if they are obtained from a supplier that freezes the fish properly or frozen on the premises properly as specified by the TFER and records are created and retained. Whole muscle, intact beef steaks that are intended for consumption in an undercooked form without a consumer advisory shall be obtained from a food processing plant that, upon request by the purchaser, packages the steaks and labels them to indicate that the steaks meet the definition of whole muscle, intact beef. Deemed acceptable by the regulatory authority based on other evidence, such as written buyer specifications or invoices, that indicates that the steaks meet the definition of whole muscle, intact beef. If individually cut in a food establishment, cut from whole muscle intact beef that is labeled by a food processing plant as specified, Prepared so they remain intact, and if packaged for undercooking in the food establishment, labeled properly. Meat and poultry that is not a ready-to-eat food and is in a packaged form when it is offered for sale or otherwise offered for consumption, shall be labeled properly. Eggs that have not been specifically treated to destroy all viable salmonella shall be labeled to include safe handling instructions as specified in law. Food in a hermetically sealed container shall be obtained from a food processing plant that is regulated by the food regulatory agency that has jurisdiction over the plant. Fluid milk and milk products shall be obtained from sources that comply with greatest standards. Fish. Fish that are received for sale or service shall be commercially and legally caught or harvested or approved for sale or service. Mollusk and shellfish that are recreationally caught may not be received for sale or service. Mollusk and shellfish. Mollusk and shellfish shall be obtained from sources for law and the requirements specified in the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Public Health Service, Food and Drug Administration, National Shellfish Sanitation Program Guide for the Control of Mollusk and Shellfish. Mollusk and shellfish received in interstate commerce shall be from sources that are listed in the Interstate Certified Shellfish Shippers List. Wild Mushrooms. Except as specified below. Mushroom species picked in the wild shall not be offered for sale or service by a food establishment unless the food establishment has been approved to do so. This section does not apply to cultivated wild mushroom species that are grown, harvested, and processed in an operation that is regulated by the food regulatory agency that has jurisdiction over the operation or wild mushroom species if they are in packaged form and are the product of a food processing plant that is regulated by the food regulatory agency that has jurisdiction over the plant. Exotic animals and game animals. If exotic animals are received for sale or service, they shall be commercially raised for food and raised, slaughtered, processed, and deemed to be inspected and approved under an inspection program administered by USDA in accordance or raised, slaughtered, processed, and deemed to be inspected and passed under a meat and poultry inspection program administered by the department or any other state meat inspection program deemed equal to USDA inspection. As allowed by law, for exotic animals that are live caught, be slaughtered and processed as required and as allowed by law, for exotic animals that are field dressed. Receive an anti-mortem and post-mortem examination by the appropriate inspection personnel and be field dressed, transported, and processed per the requirements specified by the appropriate regulatory authority. If game animals are received for sale or service, they shall be commercially raised for food and raised, slaughtered, 
and processed under a voluntary inspection program that is conducted by the agency that has animal health jurisdiction or under a routine inspection program conducted by a regulatory agency other than the agency that has animal health jurisdiction. Raised, slaughtered, and processed per laws governing meat and poultry as determined by the agency that has animal health jurisdiction and the agency that conducts the inspection program and requirements which are developed by the agency that has animal health jurisdiction and the agency that conducts the inspection program with consideration of factors such as the need for anti-mortem and post-mortem examination by an approved veterinarian or veterinarian's designee. Under voluntary inspection program administered by the USDA for game animals such as exotic animals reindeer, elk, deer, antelope, water buffalo, or bison that are inspected and approved in accordance with 9. CFR 352, Exotic Animals Voluntary Inspection All Rabbits That Are Inspected and Certified In Accordance With 9 CFR 354, Voluntary Inspection of Rabbits and Edible Products Thereof As allowed by law, for wild game animals that are live caught under a routine inspection program conducted by a regulatory agency such as the agency that has animal health jurisdiction and slaughtered and processed per laws governing meat and poultry as determined by the agency that has animal health jurisdiction and the agency that conducts the inspection program and requirements which are developed by the agency that has animal health jurisdiction and the agency that conducts the inspection program with consideration of factors such as the need for anti-mortem and post-mortem examination by an approved veterinarian or veterinarian's designee or as allowed by law for field-dressed wild game animals under a routine inspection program that ensures the animals receive a post-mortem examination by an approved veterinarian or veterinarian's designee or are field-dressed and transported per requirements specified by the agency that has animal health jurisdiction and the agency that conducts the inspection program and are processed per laws governing meat and poultry as determined by the agency that has animal health jurisdiction and the agency that conducts the inspection program. A game animal may not be received for sale or service if it is a species of wildlife that is listed in 50 CFR 17, endangered and threatened wildlife and plants, inadequate cooking, raw animal foods, except as specified later in this subsection, raw animal foods such as eggs, fish, meat, poultry, and foods containing these raw animal foods shall be cooked to heat all parts of the food to a temperature and for a time that complies with one of the following methods based on the food that is being cooked. 145 F or above for 15 seconds for raw shell eggs that are broken and prepared in response to a consumer's order and for immediate service. And except as specified elsewhere in this subsection, fish, meat, and pork including game animals and exotic and game animals commercially raised for 155 F for 15 seconds or the temperature specified in the charts below that corresponds to the holding time for our tights and injected meats. The following if they are committed ground up, fish, meat, game animals and exotic animals commercially raised for food. One hundred and sixty five F or above for fifteen seconds for poultry, volats, we LD game animals and exotic animals, stuffed fish, stuffed meat, stuffed pasta, stuffed poultry, stuffed retites, or stuffing containing fish, meat, poultry, or retites. Whole beef roasts, corned beef roasts, pork roasts, and cured pork roasts such as ham, shall be cooked in an oven that is preheated to the temperature specified for the roast weight in the following chart and that is held at that temperature in accordance with figure below. As specified in the following chart, to heat all parts of the food to a temperature and for the holding time that corresponds to that temperature as stated in figure B below. A raw or undercooked whole muscle or intact beef steak may be served or offered for sale in a ready-to-eat form if the food establishment serves a population that is not a highly susceptible population. The steak is labeled to indicate that it meets the definition of whole muscle, intact beef and the steak is cooked on both the top and bottom to a surface temperature of 145 F or above and a cooked color change is achieved on external surfaces. A raw animal food such as raw egg, 
raw fish, raw marinated fish, raw mollusk and shellfish, or steak tartare, or a partially cooked food such as lightly cooked fish, soft cooked eggs, or rare meat other than whole muscle, intact beef steaks may be served or offered for sale upon consumer request or selection in the ready to eat form if the food establishment serves a population that is not a highly susceptible population, and the food, if served or offered for service by consumer selection from a children's menu, does not contain committed meat and the consumer is informed as specified under section paragraph 228.80 of this title that to ensure its safety and the food should be cooked as specified in this subsection, or the regulatory authority grants a variance based on a HACCP plan that is submitted by the permit holder and approved. Documents scientific data or other information showing that a lesser time and temperature regimen results in a safe food and verifies that equipment and procedures for food preparation and training of food employees at the food establishment meet the conditions of the variance. Microwave cooking. Raw animal foods cooked in a microwave oven shall be rotated or stirred throughout or midway during cooking to compensate for uneven distribution of heat. Covered to retain surface moisture, heated to a temperature of at least 165 F in all parts of the food, and allowed to stand covered for two minutes after cooking to obtain temperature equilibrium. Plan food cooking for hot holding. Fruits and vegetables that are cooked for hot holding shall be cooked to a temperature of 135 F non-continuous cooking of raw animal foods. Raw animal foods that are cooked using non-continuous cooking process shall be subject to an initial heating process that is no longer than 60 minutes in duration. Immediately after initial heating, cooled properly as specified in paragraph 228.75 d. After cooling, held frozen or cold, as specified for time temperature control for safety. Prior to sale or service, Cooked using a process that heats all parts of the food to the required cooking temperature and time. Cooled according to the time and temperature parameters specified for cooked time temperature control for safety food if not either hot held, served immediately, or held using time as a public health control. Prepared and stored per written procedures that have obtained prior approval from the regulatory authority and are maintained in the food establishment and are available to the regulatory authority upon request and written procedures that describe how the requirements are to be monitored and documented by the permit holder and the corrective actions to be taken if the requirements are not met, as in a HACCP plan. Describe how the foods, after initial heating, but prior to complete cooking, are to be marked or otherwise identified as foods that must be cooked prior to being offered for sale or service, and describe how the foods, after initial heating, but prior to cooking are to be separated from ready-to-eat foods. Improper holding. Temperature can be used to control the growth of harmful bacteria in foods. The danger zone is the range of temperatures between 41 degrees and 135 degrees Fahrenheit where bacteria grow very quickly. You must avoid having foods in the danger zone. When heating or cooling foods, the foods must pass through the danger zone quickly. Cold holding. Potentially hazardous foods can be stored at cold temperatures in the refrigerator, salad bar, a refrigerated display case, or a nice to retard bacteria growth. Cold foods must be held at 41 degrees Fahrenheit or below. Shell eggs must be held at 45 degrees or below and not treated to destroy all viable cell monoli.
you must check the food's temperature using a calibrated metal stem thermometer. If ice is used to keep food cold, such as on a salad bar, the ice should be level with the food in the pan or dish, and the ice must be replaced as it melts. Hot holding. Hot cooked foods must be held at 135 degrees Fahrenheit or above. Properly prepared roasts which have been cooked for the proper time and temperature as required by the Texas Administrative Code must be held at 130 degrees or above. Contamination equipment prevention kitchenware and tableware. Single service and single use articles and cleaned and sanitized utensils shall be handled, displayed, and dispensed so that contamination of food and lip contact surfaces is prevented. Knives, forks, and spoons that are not very wrapped shall be presented so that only the handles are touched by employees and by consumers if consumer self-service is provided. Except as specified in this subsection, single-service articles that are intended for food or lip contact shall be furnished for consumer self-service with the original individual wrapper intact or from an approved dispenser. Soil tableware shall be removed from consumer eating and drinking areas and handled so that clean tableware is not contaminated. Preset Tableware If tableware is preset, tableware that is preset shall be protected from contamination by being wrapped, covered, or inverted. Preset Tableware may be exposed if unused settings are removed when a consumer is seated or settings not removed when a consumer is seated are cleaned and sanitized before further use. Rinsing Equipment and Utensils After Cleaning and Sanitizing after being cleaned and sanitized, equipment and utensils shall not be rinsed before air drying or use unless the rinse is applied directly from a potable water supply by a wear washing machine that is maintained and operated in accordance with law, and the rinse is applied only after the equipment and utensils have been sanitized by the application of hot water or by the application of a chemical sanitizer solution whose EPA registered label use instructions call for rinsing off the sanitizer after it is applied in a commercial wear washing machine. Personal hygiene. Employees must effectively clean their hands, exposed arms, under their fingernails, and wear clean clothing and aprons always when around food. This is a major source of preventable pathogens. The next lesson explores personal hygiene. End of lesson 1. We recommend downloading this lesson for study and reference.